Good morning children. So today in class 4 we are going to study about use and storage of food by plants. So children as we all know that every organism need food and energy to live and grow. In the same way plants also need energy or food to grow, repair and develop. But plants do not depend on anyone to for their food but they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. In our last classes we have already studied about that plants take water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air and make their own food. The energy from the sun helps in the process and finally the food is formed which is known as glucose. Actually it's a sugar. Glucose is a plant food and it gives the plant energy to grow. The green pigment present in the leaves of the plant called chlorophyll helps in the process of photosynthesis because it traps the energy from the sun which is very important for the process of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis along with glucose oxygen is also produced by the plants which is released by them through stomata. This oxygen in turn is used by animals and human beings. Excess food is stored in the form of glucose. The plants use some part of the food for its growth and repair and the extra part and stored in the plants by converting it into starch in its different parts like root, stem, leaves. Humans and other animals use just stored food of plants. Human beings are directly or indirectly dependent on plants for their food and oxygen. Let us perform a starch test to test the presence of starch in plant food. For this we need iodine solution which is yellow brown in color. When we add this iodine solution to food items then there is a color change. So let us start with the rice and you can see that on adding iodine the color changes to bluish black. The similar thing happens with potato. So what does this indicate that potato and rice contain starch whereas when we add the same iodine solution on sugar and salt there is no color change because there is no starch in these food items. So this tells us that starch reacts with iodine to form a blue-black compound. Now let us perform one more activity to demonstrate that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis. So for this activity we need potted plant, a test tube or a boiling tube, Bunsen burner, forceps, dropper, ethyl alcohol, iodine solution, water, black paper. Now the procedure. Take a potted plant. Keep the plant in a dark room or darkness for three days so that all the starch gets used up. Now select a leaf of the plant and cover a part of it from both the side with a strip of a black paper. And keep the plant in light for few hours. Pluck the covered leaf and remove the black paper covering it. Put the leaf in a beaker containing ethyl alcohol. Place the beaker in boiling water and boil it. This will remove chlorophyll and the leaf will get decolorized. Take out the leaf and wash it with water. Place this leaf in petri dish and put a few drops of iodine solution on it and observe the change in color. 
what you will observe that the covered portion of the leaf does not change color whereas the uncovered portion turns blue. So what we can conclude that the covered portion of leaf did not receive sunlight hence photosynthesis did not occur and no starch was formed there. Whereas the uncovered portion of the leaf received light and starch was formed due to photosynthesis. So this experiment proved that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis.